and again, the Ghanaian government recognizes that if Ghana would have to expand access to higher education, because at the moment, the gross enrollment ratio for Ghana at the tertiary level is only 16%. What it means is that if 100 people qualify to enter the university, only 16 people can have access to university education in Ghana. And that obviously is not enough. So Ghana needs to open access without spending too much. Then Ghana needs to look in the area of open and distance education. Additionally, if we really want to enhance quality of higher education, then we need open education because with open education, it's very difficult to cut corners easily if it is done properly. On the contrary, people rather think that open and distance learning is not quality. But one of the major challenges we are having deploying open education in Ghana is the fact that our faculty have not been trained and developed to do digital education and do it very well and the reason why it's difficult to cut corners with open education is that it is very structured and standardized so that every week you know what is supposed to be taught and whether the lecturer has taught it or not it can be determined by the kind of digital or technological systems that you have we are also aware that as we speak today, the national plans for higher education talks so much about open education, but it appears that as a country, we are not investing in it. We need to invest in it. We need to invest in the technology, in the digital resources. We need to invest in digital libraries and digital labs. We also need to invest in developing capacity of the faculty and the professors so they can be able to teach using digital and technological applications. Internet is so expensive for all the universities in Ghana. There has been a project to look at assisting universities to have internet that is slightly cheaper, but we still don't have it. We need fiber optic network throughout, you know, where you have the universities so that it would be more reliable to use technological mediation to teach and for students to learn. So these are all things that we're looking at, but we believe that Ghanaians are ready to adapt open and distance learning.